Kind of interesting looking liquid, isn't it, Kristen? Yeah, it looks like it's boiling. Yes. Matter of fact, it is. But here, take this um, carnation okay. and dip it in the boiling liquid and you'll twist it around a little bit like that. And I want you to take it and hit it on the table there as hard as you can. Okay. Go ahead. Can I hit it now? Yeah, go ahead. Just bang it hard. Hey! What happened? Well, what you did was to freeze that flour because what we have here is liquid nitrogen. Oh, I thought it was boiling water. Yeah, you looked water. like it was boiling water. That's because I just poured it in, as you saw. And, and actually, the heat of the table and the heat of the glass bowl are actually boiling it because they're raising it uh, to a higher temperature. 290 degrees below zero centigrade. Oh, that's quite Very cold. cold. So obviously, I don't want you to put your fingers in it. Okay. And that's why I had you put on the safety glasses. Okay. Because it's a lot of fun to, to play with it because you can do all kinds of interesting things by taking everyday materials and putting them in there. Uh, there's a piece of apple. Okay. And here... There's a hot dog. Okay. I'll put that in there. Piece of rubber tubing. Mm-hmm. Ball. And this piece of solder. Okay. You know what solder is? No idea. Well, solder is a very soft material that is used. It has very relatively low melting points, so they use it to attach wires, mm -hmm. and the soldering iron comes down and touches it, and then it changes to a liquid, then it freezes quickly, so it holds it in there. But the point is it's very soft. Mm -hmm. So let's start with that. Have you ever made a spring? No. Well, I'm going to make a spring out of the solder. Watch. Like that, see? Oh. And then if I make a little hook on the end down here, I can put this nut on it, and you will see how non-springy it really is. Yeah. It's okay. I'll stretching. stick it stick it all back together and we'll stick that in the liquid nitrogen. Okay. Boiled it again because it was hot enough. Mm -hmm. Now I don't want you to put your fingers in. So yeah. here you take these long tongs and put the hot dog in. Okay. Whoa. That's boiling too. Now put the rubber tubing. Okay, that's floating along there. Now there's half an apple. Put that in. Okay. And finally, uh, just to make sure that you understand what this is, you want to back up and bounce that on the floor. Okay. Really hard. And we'll catch it. Okay. There. Rubber ball. Put that in. Now, you see, all of those materials, even though they were at normal temperature, are actually making the liquid nitrogen boil. Now, have you ever seen a gas that's in liquid form before? Uh, Ordinarily, the, this material... Gas? Normal yeah. gas? Car no. gas? That's mm -hmm. in liquid. Car ga oh, I see. But this is a gas by uh, chemical definition or physical definition. A gas is something that fills up a container like air. Mm -hmm. But this is now... In fact, what, to make this, they take air and they squeeze it and take away the heat to make both the nitrogen and the oxygen in the air in liquid form. Then they can take off the oxygen part and keep that separate, and the nitrogen is what's left behind. So you now we have a, something that is ordinarily a gas at normal temperature. It is now a liquid. Do you suspect what you're going to do with the hammer? Yes. Put on, a, put on a, well, I don't think you probably need a glove, but it won't hurt to put it on. And I'll bring out each one of these items and place it there on the table, and you hit it with a hammer. Okay. First of all, you know how the rubber tubing was real bendy? Yeah, it was. Okay. I'm going to put it down there on the table, and you hit it with a hammer. You okay. ready? Give it a good whack. Go ahead. Whack it. Oh, my God. A thousand pieces. Now, so you know what happens to rubber at lower temperatures. Yes. Yeah, obviously, it got very stiff, didn't it? Remember I told you not to put your finger in? Well, let the hot dog represent your finger. Give that a good smash with a hammer once. Another thousand pieces. Oh, my God. Yeah. I can't believe it. Half an apple coming up. Are you ready? Yeah, I suppose. Like that. There goes an apple in it. In fact, powdered apple we have here, frozen. 
Oh, wow. Remember that, remember that spring I showed you of solder? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll get it out. So f And it hold the end. And you put the weight, the weight on the end of the little hook. Okay. Hey, it's not at all as bouncy. No, it's, a, it's, it's real springy now because obviously, wh what have we found out about these common materials when you put them in something and get them real cold? The, the um, substance itself gets so cold that it gets frozen in a way. Well, it's, it's not sort as of, flexible. Yeah. It's not as flexible. In other words, when you get something very cold, like the, the whole molecular structure changes, and it changes completely. So things like the rubber tubing are no longer flexible, but now are very stiff. And people have noticed that when they go to the Arctic, the, some of their materials will change very definitely. Anyway, it's kind of a lot of fun to play with. And now I'd like you to put on this glove, because okay. I'm going to hand you that ball. Okay. First of all, let's take a look at it. Remember how it was nice and round before? Oh. Why has it got a dimple in it? Um, what was it filled with before? Air. Oh, so we must have, what must we have done to the air inside? Just shrink it, it takes yeah. up less space, right? Yeah. So the outside air pressure pushed it and it's now got a big dimple. And you think you know what's going to happen when you throw it? I've, you, I've you got a pretty an idea. good idea? Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Just hard as you can, and I'll catch it. Ha ha. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh my! It used to be so flexible and yes, bouncy. Yes, it used to be, but there it is. Uh, feels like a piece of potato chip. Anyway, that's fun. That? You can tell your friends you've now experimented with a liquid nitrogen bath in which things change very dramatically. <laughs>